YouTube to another Redstone tutorial. Today I'll be showing you a very, very compact version of a hopper sorting system. So basically you dunk everything in here and then it will end up in correct places. As you can see, I've already tested it out a couple of times and then miscellaneous will end up here. So it uses about three hoppers and one comparator, two Redstone, one repeater and one Redstone torch and of course one chest for each column so it's very compact it's the most compact i think so yeah i recently made a tutorial about two months ago but it wasn't really that detailed on the tutorial so yeah i've just made a i've just got a request so i've i'm making another one so basically uh i'll just fly over here this is one section of it so this is the miscellaneous and then I've just made the hopper only accept diamonds and it will come up here. So basically, how this works is the comparator senses only about 23 or more items. And then that would power another redstone, which will depower this redstone torch and let items flow through to this chest. So yeah, I've just made it in a line and of course... This redstone, you might be thinking, will overlap each other and it will malfunction. But trust me, this actually works because the comparator, if it powers two blocks, it will power that one and that one, not that one. So it will only power its own row. So that makes it fairly nice and compact. So how I put those chests next to each other without them connecting to each other is a trick known as trap normal trap. So, trap chest, normal chest, and then trap chest. So, as you can see in my hopper, if I put normal chest next to each other, it would, of course, make a large normal chest. If I to put two trap chests next to each other, it will make a large trap chest. But if I put it alternating, it will work like that. So, yeah, that's how I made it. And for a trap chest, I think you only need a trip wire. I think that's all you need, a trip wire and a normal chest. So this is fairly easy to build. So I'll just go show it off. I'll just quickly take away this items inside the chest. So then I can test it out and show you. So I've got everything out and then I'll just put one stack of snowball, another stack of snowball, so that equal 32 snowballs. A stack of quartz, a stack of coal, a stack of diamond, a stack of emerald, a stack of gold, a stack of iron. So that's like one of everything and somehow I've got another explore. Oh, never mind. That just glitched out. So I've got one of everything here. And that's supposed to be 32 snowballs in here. And as you can see, so 32 snowballs and a stack of everything else. And let's just put my inventory... Let's just put a stack of redstone. Let's put a stack of redstone in the miscellaneous, which will end up here. So yeah, I'll come back when it's done. So I am back and just as the iron ingot is coming through, as you can see, there's two stacks of snowballs and one stack of everything else perfectly sorted out except the iron, which is now flowing in quite fast. And the miscellaneous is here. So as you can see, this comparator is sensing an extra ingot in here. So it powers two and then depowers this redstone torch, which lets the items come down into this chest. So as you can see, this is all empty now and yeah, ready to be used another time. So I'll just make a quick tutorial. This is basically what it is. So yeah, I'll just make a quick tutorial. So what you want to do do is you want to get your chest that you want everything to be thrown in and then below it and then next to it you want to make a comparator facing outwards into a piece of redstone dust and then a block down you want to put a repeater then on the side of the repeater put a block and a redstone dust so that's done then in front of it you want to put a block and then a torch and then take away the block on top of the torch and then put a chest in front of that. Whoops. 
put a chest in front of that block that you just destroyed, like that, and then you want to put a hopper facing into it. So that torch is powering the hopper running into a chest. So then take away that below the miscellaneous chest, and then put a put a hopper facing into the comparator. So that's one section done. But if you want to make it stackable like that, like a long lane, you want to take away the top chest and then put, just come over here, I just quickly put the chest where you throw everything in, and then you want to put the miscellaneous chest here. So pretend you want to make three of, three of the item sortings. So you run a top hopper line at the top. So yeah, so I'll get on with the tutorial for putting the items in. So for example, if you want stone, this to be sorted only stone gets in this chest, then you want to go to the hopper that is facing into a comparator and then hold right click and wave it like that, then release it. And then I'll just grab that back. Oops. Pretend I never did anything. So it should end up with the line here. Then you want to put it in that miscellaneous chest. And then it flow through into that item hopper. And it should end up fully working. So as you can see, it's working totally fine. As you can see. And sooner or later, the stone will end up here. And yeah, that's how you do it. So you can make this however long you want, however wide you want, however big you want. Although that's a fair amount of hoppers, I guess. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was a tutorial requested by this guy at the bottom. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a like, thumbs up, enjoy my new outro.